Hi, my name is uh, Joseph Halstead. I'm the cheesemaker here at Bonnie View Sheep Dairy. Uh, today I'm making um, our used feta cheese. Here at Bonnie View Sheep Dairy, we have 209 milking ewes. Uh, we average about between 300 and 500 pounds of cheese uh, produced every week. Cheese making is a very long process and it has a lot of steps to it. So I'm just going to take this time to kind of bring you through all of them. So in the morning, I get uh, milk in right through that little door and it comes in through a hose. I fill up with that and I start heating it up. And it takes about an hour and a half for me to heat the milk up to uh, 31 degrees Celsius, which is about 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And after I get to that temperature, I add our culture. After I let the milk incubate for around an hour, uh, pH will drop from about 6.7 uh, or 6.6 to down to 6.4. And once it's around 6.4, I add the rennet. And uh, rennet is a uh, cocktail of enzymes. And what this uh, enzyme does is it, with the acidity of the milk, it coagulates the entire uh, mass of milk in one large curd. Then I'm going to use my cheese knives to cut it into about uh, 5 8 by 5 8 inch cubes. Um, and once I do that, I will stir this, uh, the curd for about 20 minutes and then be begin my molding process. What I'm doing here is I'm testing for a clean break. See how that just splits clean open and it's nice and smooth right there? That's what I'm looking for, so I'm good to cut now. What I'm doing is turning this through to get everything into a cube. And I'm just gonna let it set and the curd's gonna firm up a bit and more waves gonna come out and then I'll start stirring once the curd's firm enough. So what I'm doing right here is I just am putting my screen in and I'm removing curd so now it goes out with the way. Because curd is money in this operation. Right, Neil's going to pick up the uh, way tank and we're going to feed it back to the ewes. So the girls really love it. Um, it's pretty much just like protein and sugar water for them. So they kind of just all fight to get for it and it's really good for them because it gives them a nice amount of calories, it gives them water, it gives them protein. And it actually helps us increase our yield uh, for cheese making because they have to, their bodies have to work less hard to synthesize protein for their milk. So. Probably each one of those, when it's said and done, it's gonna be close to about 20 pounds, 25 pounds of the cheese. So right now I'm just flipping the cheese so it can acidify and form uniformly. 